Hello and welcome to your 84th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca and tonight I want to talk to you about creating and updating database statistics. And I want to show you how to view database statistics options using SQL Server Management Studio. So to further improve query performance, SQL Server generates statistics based on the distribution of data in a table or indexed view. These statistics are used by the query optimizer to create optimal query execution plan. You can manually create and update the statistics, or you can allow SQL Server to automatically handle the creation and updating of statistics. If an index is rebuilt, the statistics are automatically updated. However, if an index is reorganized, you should manually update the statistics. Therefore, as best practice, you should implement a strategy that encompasses both manual and automatic statistics updates. Okay, um, so about viewing database statistic options, you can set two database options to automatically create statistics and update statistics. Auto create statistics and auto update statistics. These two options are turned on by default and are recommended best practices for most database environments. Let's take a look at this now. Go ahead and connect to an instance of SQL Server and once you're there, we're going to expand our databases folder. And we're going over to AdventureWorks 2012. We're going to right click. We're going to go down to Properties. Now that we're at Properties, we want to go over here to Options and then select the Page Pane. Okay. Now we'll notice here that both Auto Create Statistics right here and Auto Update Statistics are set to True. Now, if you decide not to allow SQL Server to perform these operations, you obviously would set it to false. But uh, okay, that's all I want to show you. We can just click cancel now. But now, while you can manually create statistics, the optimizer generally does a good job at maintaining statistics on its own. With the auto create statistics and auto update statistics options set to true, most of the statistics will oh, excuse me most of the statistics work will be done for you automatically however in some isolated cases you may find that a query has missing statistics and you have a need to manually create them now uh, detecting missing statistics gets pretty deep and it's beyond the scope of this tutorial however manually updating statistics should be part of any regularly regular database maintenance plan so that's all i wanted to show you it's very fairly simple again um i'll walk through it one more time you would just go expand databases you would go over here to adventure 2012 right click properties and under the select the page option and then we have our um excuse me our uh, auto create statistics and auto update statistics and again we can set them to false but generally we're not going to want to so there you go um you now know how to view database statistics using sql server management studio thanks for checking out this tutorial see you in the next one